use this, Mr. Walton? This, Comet, is our new project, Arcadia. It looks like a city from outer space. <laughs> Not quite. Arcadia is indeed a city, but it would be built right here in America. Golly! Picture a city of dreams and hopes for the young and old alike, where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. Gee, that sounds like a dream, Mr. Walton. Because it is a dream, Comet. And remember, to reach our dreams, we need to soar higher than ever before. Are you ready to proceed then? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm ready. Good. We're recording now. So, please, sir, state your name, age, and occupation. Trevor Hills, 28. Senior account manager at INAC. Although, I'm not sure about that anymore. I'm also the most popular person in Arcadia. But you probably already know that, right? Subject entry 92, you are entering a restricted area. Stop running and surrender now. Subject entry 92, turn yourself in or be neutralized. Yeah? You'll have to catch me first, you jerk! Yes, we know that, Mr. Hills. Please continue. Uh, I used to have a mundane life. Just my everyday routine, and I, I liked it that way. But I think it all probably began about two weeks before that dreadful day. Good morning, Arcadia. Today we're enjoying a splendid temperature of 77.1 degrees and a humidity Good of 53% morning, on this beautiful sunny Friday morning. Autodroid to full cleaning. I was pretty good at Spectrex when I was a kid. But I'm not. It's not a Steinway, but it fits in my comfy hobbit hole. you can see the Walton Family Memorial. It's a massive sculpture carved in stone of Elijah Walton, uh, his brother Donald, and Vivian Walton, Elijah's granddaughter and the current Arcadia representative. Next stop, Inak Gemini Tower West. Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years, 10 months, and 14 days. Thank you for your dedication. Hello, hey Trevor. Are you up for the Blitz Festival party tonight? It's in the Limelight Club. Sorry, no can do. I'm, I'm behind schedule. And I'm not much into clubbing either. Think you can have fun by yourselves without the life and soul of the party? Ha! We'll try our best, ma'am. Ada, the automated data analyzer, is the most powerful computer ever built. INAC technology inside. Trevor, my man! Hey, Gus. You look good, buddy. Been going to the gym? Nah, I don't need a gym to keep this ripped body in shape. Hills jeans! By the way, you going to the Blitz party tonight? Nope, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to have a little bit of fun once in a while? Sending the Ada. 
I do have fun. Moderately. I enjoy doing my job. Validated. You won't be enjoying it so much now that Romano is our new supervisor. Sending data? What? Will Romano? Seriously? But that guy is a moron. Um, uh, validated. You know, Gus, sometimes I get the feeling that only absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people thrive in this company. I didn't know you were interested in the supervisor's job. I'm sending it to Ada? Validated. And, I, and I'm not, but William Romano, man? You gotta be kidding me. Have you ever wanted to leave all your worries behind and have the time of your life while exploring the world and making unforgettable memories? Now, thanks to the Arcadia Edge Travel Grant, you can experience what you've only dared to dream of. Because not everyone who wanders is lost. The Edge Travel Grant, only in Arcadia. Apply now through Ordinary Mail or Adenet. Um, uh, Mr. Hills, you haven't really told us anything out of the ordinary so far. Do you really need to go through... I, I know what I've told you might seem irrelevant now, but it'll help you understand later. Trust me. Good morning, Arcadia. <sighs> it's another beautiful day in the city of tomorrow. We're expecting a high of 75 degrees and humidity of 66%. Good to see you, Mr. Bernstein. Good morning, Trevor. Oh, I hope you are up for a pleasant stroll along Memory Lake. So keep those cameras ready, because you might get some really, really nice pics of the Arcadia Spire up there. Next stop, INAC Gemini Tower West. Hmm. I wonder where this guy went. Hey, Millie, have you seen Gus today? Is he sick or...? I don't think so. He just left early today. Really? He didn't say anything to me. We're gonna fall behind schedule. I'll be working overtime to send all these Ada memos by myself. <laughs> Thank you, Gus. Jesus, this is gonna take me forever to finish. I should have been home three hours ago, and I still have a ton of work to do. I'm still working here! I hope he packed an Aloha shirt and a pair of sunglasses. Hmm, that's weird. Gus was never interested in any of this. So, I barely got to meet him, you know. They promoted me to a supervisor uh, two days later. Gus the Globetrotter left us. <laughs> Romano, I really doubt that Gus ever applied for the travel grant. Ah, uh, you know, Gus, not much of a talker. What a lucky son of a gun, though, huh? Huh? <laughs> Fiji. Ooh, I'd kill for a beach trip right about now. Anyway, uh, make sure that report is ready for tomorrow, will you? I'll be ready, Romano. Don't worry about it. Earth? 
Trevor Hills, welcome to Inax Gemini Towers. Hey, hey, did anybody hear that? It's that song again. Nobody? Really? Hey, Francis. Morning, Trevor. Listen, Dave, have you noticed some weird things going on lately in the office? Weird? How? Oh. What do you mean? I don't know. Lights going off, music suddenly playing in the PA system? No, nothing. Okay, well, yeah, forget it. There must be a rational explanation for all this. There must be. God, this can't all be a product of my imagination, can it? Hey, Trevor, you up for a couple no, of beers no, after- No, 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 I, sorry, I, I can't, I can't. Well, it's gotten into him. Leave me alone, damn it. What? Jesus. What the? Who is doing this? Who on earth is doing this? Would somebody please look at these screens? Damn. Maybe it's only stress. I've been working too much lately. I need to go to the doctor. It's it's been ages since I had a checkup. No, I'm not in the mood. I don't even want to get close to the TV. Not after a lot. No, thank you. Who knows what might happen if me Kovacs? Am I going crazy, buddy? Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep a wink tonight. Those were probably the worst two weeks in my entire life. Or at least the weirdest. Although it was nothing compared to what I was going to experience later that day. Do you know if they even had a name for it? You mean a name for your... Yes, that's it. The day the running started. Okay, I, uh, I have to get a hold of myself. It's Friday. Just a few more hours of work and the week will be over. Finish here, go back home, have a glass of warm milk, and go to sleep. Remember that you can apply for the Edge Travel Grant too. The only requirements are that you must be of legal age and have an insatiable wanderlust. Request the application form via ordinary mail or ADNF. No, thank you. Okay, today's tasks. Nothing like some routine stuff to keep your mind occupied. Oh, come on! I didn't even save. Hey guys, did you lose your... What? Gus is... dead. Trevor Hills, please. Your supervisor requires your presence in the meeting room on the 10th floor. Now what? What on earth? Just listen. 
three travel agents will be there with you to arrange all the paperwork. If you leave with them, you won't ever be seen again. What? What? Wait a second. I, I didn't even apply for the travel grant. Neither did Gus. Follow my instructions when you exit the elevator. It's your only chance to survive. What? what? Wait! What on earth was that? Here, on the intercom. Look at them. Do those guys look like travel agents to you? Take the elevator at the end of the hallway and go straight to the 20th floor. Whatever happens, do not stop until you get there. Oh, hey, hey, Trevor, come here. Where are you going? I have guys? good news for you. Oh, no, 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 they've seen me. Found with this measure, we will. Hey, you can't be here, mister. This is a private meeting. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I just, I have, I have to, I just, don't mind me, bye. Sorry, couldn't hold it. Take the stairs! Okay, now what do I do? When you reach the 20th floor, cross the Ada Blue Lobby and enter the supercomputer room. The supercomputer room? I don't have clearance to access the- Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Damn it, there's no exit here. Hey, you! Strange voice, or whatever you are. Can you hear me? What do I do now? Wait in there. I have to do something really quick. What? Calm down. Don't, Don't panic. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm so sorry to leave you hanging there, Trevor. But admin permissions are updated daily, so I have to do this right here and right now. Great. All checked. Next phase of the plan. There she is. Kendra Tomlin, my inept boss. She's probably been logged into her computer all day, lurking through her assigned citizen grid, enjoying a quiet day with no incidents. Well, that's about to change as soon as I shut down her computer from my cell phone. Which, I don't remember where I put. Ah, uh, where did I leave my cell phone? Here you are. Now I only have to access Kendra's computer and unleash hell. I wrote down her IP here. Oh, how stupid can I be? Only I could think of writing something that important on my hand. Clutziest activist ever. Sorry for interrupting another hard day of procrastination, Kendra. Just a couple seconds to begin the cursing and screaming in three, two, one, one again, what the? and no. here it is, no, 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 total no. system shutdown. Now Kendra, oh, you better follow the protocol oh, like a responsible supervisor see? and call Jean. Yeah, of course it's Kendra. Yelling? <laughs> you better move your sorry ass to get up here or you will find out what yelling is. And here it comes, directly from the server room. Gene Wynn, the admin guy. Hey, Gene. Poor Gene, I really owe you one, man. Okay, the server room will be empty as long as Gene is pulling all of Kendra's what aggro. What took you so long? And by the looks of it, it's gonna be a while. So next phase, get inside the server room. Can't be caught on the surveillance cameras. The hallway to the server room is tracked by three surveillance cameras. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. Ah, here it is.
All the videos are uploaded and playing the loops. I can enter the server room now. Shit. I forgot that Jean still uses the old four-digit... Ta-da! Door open. Now, I only have to access the servers and grant myself admin permissions. Got it. Now back to my office to keep helping Trevor. I almost forgot to restore the surveillance cameras before returning to Trevor. Yes, all cameras are back to- Hey! Oh, uh, Kendra. You think this is normal? Uh, uh, I, 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 I can explain. Seriously, I have tons of work to worry about, and they expect me to meet my deadlines with constant screw-ups? This is not normal! Oh. Oh! You mean that? Uh, no, no, of course not. That is totally unacceptable. This is the second time I've had the same sudden crash. Remember it also happened a few days ago? Boom. And all my work goes down the drain in an instant. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, sure. Uh, definitely Jean has something to do about that issue, of course. Anyway, looks like it's going to take a while. Fancy a latte macchiato at the cafeteria? Uh, sorry, Kendra, I still have some things to finish, and given what happened to you, I don't want to risk losing all my work too, you know? Hi, Vio, I thought she had caught me. Okay, Trevor, I'm back. Oh, thank God. Wait, your voice is... Oh, forgot to turn the voice modulator on. Ah, damn it. Oh, it's fine. I'd rather listen to a human voice than whatever that was before. <sighs> yeah, what difference does it make now? Anyway, let me open that big door. Cameras are ready. Great, I can switch between them. Wow, that computer room is really dark. That's not a computer room, Trevor. Go inside, please. Uh, okay. You'll find an earpiece on that table ahead of you. Put it on so we can speak directly. I, I have the earpiece. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. And you? I can hear you too, yes. What is this place? Where am I? And why does it look like the... Backstage of a TV studio. Because it is, Trevor. This is Arcadia's backstage. What? No, 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 no. This, this is this is the Ada room, the most powerful computer ever built. Ada means artifact disposal area. This is where the containers from all INAC employees are dumped to be processed and destroyed. But that that doesn't make any sense. INAC would lose millions if they just INAC can't lose shit because INAC is not a real company. It's just another one of Arcadia's intricate lies. But you've had enough lies already, Trevor. Please, Trevor, Trevor show you the truth. Have a seat. One. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. A 43 square mile metropolis where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform the most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Arcadia, where a complex system of thousands of cameras registers the everyday lives of their 23,414 Arcadia-born citizens. Experience love, drama, and scandal from all of your favorite Arcadia celebrities. Steve Just, DJ Zoom, Tiffany Amber Gaines, and many more. 
vote, comment, and be a part of American Arcadia. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton. What? What is this? This, Trevor, is your life. A life that has been recorded and compiled right down to the last second. What? Why on earth would anybody be interested in my life? That's exactly the problem, Trevor. Nobody is interested in your life. I'm pretty sure you know who Steve Just is. Well, yeah, everybody knows aerobic Steve. He's... The most popular person in Arcadia? Of course he is. Well, this is Steve Just's track camera view rate. That's the number of people outside Arcadia who watch his life 24-7. And this is your track camera view rate. Actually, you only have one person following your track camera, and that's me. You're not an absolute jerk, an egomaniac, or obnoxious. You're just an average Joe with an ordinary life. Too ordinary. Too ordinary? Too ordinary for what? To be profitable, Trevor. You're not good American Arcadia material. In here, a popular person means sponsorships, media coverage, ads, merchandise. In short, money. And as the audience ratings of American Arcadia are in negative growth, the show can't afford to maintain people like you anymore. Unprofitable citizens need to be... Uh, be retired from the show. Re retired You... you mean... Yes, I mean exactly what you're thinking. But... they can't do that, right? They can't kill me, can they? Not legally, but again, who's gonna miss you if you never ever show up again? Nobody's interested in your life, remember? Oh my god, this, this is a nightmare. This can't be true. Trevor, I know this is tough to swallow, but we have to keep going, okay? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Good. We can try to use your anonymity to our advantage to get you out of here. But first things first, you have to leave the INAC building and get to the closest monorail station. Hey you, whoever you are, I, I don't see a way around here. There is a wardrobe case back there. Bring it here and climb on it to get to that platform. Let's try to find a way out of here. <sighs> Trevor, are you wheezing? You're in terrible shape, man. Don't you get any exercise at all? No, not, not since PE in high school. Because of my metabolism, I don't easily gain weight. So I don't usually do any. Okay, okay. I'm not here to judge your lifestyle or your dietary habits. Just save your breath and keep going, will you?
My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! His name is Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. My God, you're so mean, Vivian. I'm sorry, I just can't help myself. I know the rules. All grant winners must be publicly announced, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I don't see the point in it. Who cares about this guy? Anyway, let's take five and we'll record it in one go, okay? Vivian Walton is a horrible person? I think evil bitch describes her better, but it's that evil bitch who hosts American Arcadia Live feeds every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 8 p.m. Three-hour specials where the Walton Empire's true heiress drags her family legacy through the mud. <sighs> and the audience loves her. So yeah, she's a horrible person. Sorry, man. Have you seen a guy around here dressed in 70s clothing? Yes, about 20,000 every day. I work in American Arcadia, man. Can't you be a little more specific? Yeah, Caucasian male, fair-haired. Oh... With that description, I can narrow it. Hey, what happened? What do I know? Let me fix it. Fix it. It's on again. Mannequins? They've put mannequins in here too, just to fill up seats? Yep. Now you're getting it. Trevor, hide, quick! Any news? Not yet, but we've got all the exits covered. Good. He's not gonna get out of this building. Unless he grows a pair of wings. Shit. Plan B, Trevor. Forget about the elevator. You have to find another way out. Me? I'm an account manager! The only things I can find are... mistakes and balance sheets! <sighs> Let me think. Um... There's a... Uh, there's a window in front of you, right? You're not thinking of... We need to get you to the closest monorail station as soon as possible. There's no other option. There's another station literally in front of the Inoc building. Didn't you hear them, Trevor? What part of all exits are covered didn't you get? Oh, this is a seriously bad idea. Oh god, this is really high. Would you please calm down, Trevor? I shouldn't have gotten out of bed today. In which case you'd already be dead by now. Just don't panic and let me think of something. that I don't even know your name or why you're doing this. I'd rather not give you more details right now, for safety reasons. But you can call me Kovacs. Kovacs? Like, like my turtle? What? No, man. Kovacs, the Hungarian scientist and architects of tomorrow. Science always finds a way and all that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, our pet Kovacs. I was a huge fan too. I named my turtle after him. Dude, why do you keep bringing your turtle into this conversation? Well, I just thought... Yeah, forget it. Trevor, watch out. Don't let the bargain basement Beastie Boys see you. The what? Uh, I forgot you don't know the Beastie Boys. The uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. Shutter blocked on INAC Gemini A6 R3. I think it's revert state. Hexagon, shutter malfunction, revert to open state. Activate interception drone in A6. Oh! Trevor, watch out. Don't let the bargain basement beast boys Hexagon, see you. Hexagon, please revert shutter the at my what? location. Thank you. Uh, I forgot you don't know the beastie boys. The uh, travel agents. Don't let the travel agents see you. 
Hexagon, shutter malfunction. Revert to open state, please. You are coping quite well with all this physical stress, despite your age. What do you mean, my age? I'm 28. You're... Oh, oh, you're... Uh, sorry about that, I... Uh, uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's the mustache. You see the guy? Nah. There's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Come on. There's no way he climbed out the window. What do they expect? The stapler guy from office space climbing out of a window? Now what? Now what what? Just jump over the gap and move forward. Are, are you sure? If I miss, I die. Oh, come on, Trevor. Even my grandpa could jump that. Mr. Hills, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself, Mr. Hills. Oh, shit. The travel agents are here. Uh, jump, now. <laughs> Please, stop running. Stop immediately. Keep running, for God's sake! Get over that crane, Trevor, quick! The crane? Yes, trust me! Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Wait, you jumped into a swimming pool from the 20th floor of a building? <sighs> yes. And while I think it's pretty obvious, I'm not exactly a daredevil. Although in hindsight, that jump was nothing compared to what I had to do afterwards. Better already? Dry enough? No, I'm still soaking wet. Sorry about that, but we don't have much time. Get moving before the travel agents get down here. What was that? Oh, man. Wow, is that a helicopter after me? That's gonna be expensive. Keep going, Trevor. You're doing great. Now listen, to get to the station, I need you to... Cross the monorail tracks, right? You were gonna say that, weren't you? I'm afraid so. Oh, uh, damn it. got out of the INAC. My signal, I want you to haul ass like there's no tomorrow. He jumped to the... What's going on? Somebody stop that car alarm. Now, Trevor, run! It's Trevor Hills! Get him! Come here, you! Ah! Ah. Get to the last car of the monorail! In your face! 
<laughs> what are you gonna do now, huh? Yeah! Look at the face of that bestie kid, or whatever you call them. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> what, did I say it wrong? Sorry, I just, I just got a bit overexcited. Whew. So, where are we headed to, Kovacs? Right into the Cygnus lobby. Grand Hotel Cygnus? What for? There's a badge I need you to retrieve there. A badge? Your holidays in Arcadia are about to begin. Soon you'll be transported to the stunning city of tomorrow. But before you have dinner at the top of the Spire restaurant, enjoy the best disco music in the Limelight Club. Or discover the magic of Comet Land. There's something else you need to know. Introducing Access Badge, an amazing electronic device that will allow you to make the most of your Arcadia vacations. Carefully designed to look like a real 1970s prop, your Access Badge will be scanned at the checkpoint terminal on your entry day, and that's it! You don't even need to check in at the front desk. Just use your Access Badge to get into your hotel room and start having fun! Even our auto-droid operated room service will be entirely at your disposal thanks to your access badge. And remember, if you're using the Insta Delivery Service, your bags will be waiting in your room just a few seconds after you open the door. Please carry your access badge with you at all times during your Arcadia visit until the day you leave at your assigned departure checkpoint. Now you are ready to experience the city of tomorrow as Elijah Walton himself envisioned it. Remember, enjoy your stay in Arcadia and... Do not break the fourth wall. Grand Hotel Cygnus Station. Please watch your step when exiting the car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. I see. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you out like any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Hey, there's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, uh, I'll take care of it. So if I move this here...
Kovacs, I was wondering, wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. Um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Jesus, this is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Thank you, everybody. You're being a terrific audience. We're the Swans, and we hope you're enjoying our music this evening here at the Signus Grove restaurant. And now, for your enjoyment, here's an instrumental version. Merle Jefferson's Don't Be a Fool.
You know what, Kovacs? I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back. But the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I'd been waiting for all year. Well, that miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Trevor, honestly, but it's the only way. There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. How, how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so... The ninth floor?! Shh! Pipe down! The auto droid's coming. Listen, when you get into my room, you'll find a suitcase that... Well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. Next, please. Hello! Welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Sure, here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. <sighs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be considered anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Ugh, two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. I've never ridden this thing, but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Oh. Let's see what this ride is all about. dream of tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota. Influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, Young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. But Elijah 
Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow, a city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia, or Old Arcadia. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11th moon landing. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon, you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great-uncle Don continued. Now, it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. This must be the cast member's room. Haha! <laughs> this must be the key for the manual override.
<laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. Ugh, silent animatronics give me the creeps. Ugh, now I have to crawl inside that duct. Mmm, my luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days. Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. You need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Uh. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Preparing the room, Please just ignore it. Devices. I need to turn turning the insta on. delivery device on. What the? Oh no. No. I'm trapped. That was a great idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. Yeah. Although I kind of feel guilty about that poor on. droid. Shouldn't the luggage be here already? No, 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 you didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually redirect my suitcase through the instant delivery card. It's, it's okay, Kovacs, I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. Ah, just leave it to me, okay? I, g give me a second. Well, well, well. Where are you, you tacky, hideous suitcase? This is to open and close that hatch. This changes the direction of the con- Ah, there it is. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. This switch rotates this thing.
Ah, I think I figured it out. And here is your luggage, mister. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass! You mean the badge or the droid? Now, Trevor, go to the elevator on the left side and join Group Welcome 6. They'll be exiting road, the city soon. Miss Lauren. Enjoy your vacation in Arcadia. Okay, whatever. Hello. Hello. Hey, you in Group Six, pal? A PA called Group 6 to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Good old 70s? Trevor, shut your mouth. What year are we in? We're in 2023. We're in the future? Lower your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been. I'll explain it to you later. Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You planning on becoming BFS with the clerk? I was just being polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Group six, please, uh, come to the backyard bus stop. Group six. Group six, please come to the backyard bus stop. Look, Trevor, it's almost over. There's the bus. Don't do anything stupid. Just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint. Group six? Group six, please. Uh, with me. He I I know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes, but uh, there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus. Uh, but don't worry, our good friend Antonio is going to try to fix it, and I am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy. So uh, don't worry, folks. I guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time. Oh, no way. You got to be kidding me. Hello? Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The chief of security is headed to your office right now. He will be there any minute. M my office? B but what's go- There is no time. Listen. Act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. O okay. Uh, I'll try to remember. Good luck. We are counting on you, Kovacs. Hey everybody, so uh, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, which one do you guys want first? Okay, the bad news is that the bus carrying us to Arcadia Central Station is definitely out of order. But, but, the good news is that you get some extra free time until a new bus comes. <laughs> you get to do some sightseeing. Isn't that great? <gasps> oh, come on. I know, I know, I know, folks. I am, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, but I will see you on the other side of Memory Lake. So please make your way over there and just wait for the new bus to come. Uh oh Kovacs, I can see one of the beastie guys, and he's looking for someone. No, 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 Damn it, what do I do? Move, Trevor, stay hidden. Hello, my name is Marcus Javert, Arcadia's Chief of Security. My job? To make sure nobody leaves Arcadia. My means? Whatever I consider necessary. My aptitudes? 
hand-to-hand -hand and armed combat, high-speed pursuit, open field manhunts, and detecting when someone is lying to me. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course, Your yeah, mask? no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Your name fine. is Angela? Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation. And exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. Right now, I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. <sighs> so, is this like a an interrogation, or...? Think of it more as a loyalty test, if you will. I'll read you the questions out loud. Please select whichever answer best represents your views. I'll display the possible answers for you on the monitor to your right. I'm loading the app now. Hold on a second. According to you, which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Elijah Walton? A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing? What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. Please wait. Which one of the following images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? The party balloons. Interesting. Let's proceed. Loading the next question. What does the initiative known as Breakout mean to you? They are a dangerous activist group that threatens Walton Media's interests. Are you sure you want to answer that? You can change your answer if you'd like. Mm, no. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion, definitely. Loading the next question. Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What? What? The Molotov cocktail? I don't think you understood what I was asking you. But let's go on. Please in Subject spotted in memory lake. Drone now. The yellow and orange comet pattern. Okay. Oh, just one thing before the final question, Miss Solano. If you lied to me with any of your answers, I will know. A subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? No, no, it doesn't ring a bell. Isn't subject 10392 in your assigned 72 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? No, no, it doesn't ring a bell. Isn't subject 10392 in your assigned citizen's grid? Oh, you mean that. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I thought, um... Is 
everybody ready? Did you get some really good picks? Okay, folks, we're gonna regroup here for a second and wait for everyone to get back. That's it. We're finished. It's been a really productive session. Uh, okay. D uh, did, did I pass the test, or...? I will contact you again as soon as I have verified the results. And I will be watching you, Miss Solano. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Psst, whatever. As long as you have a badge with the right number, the more the merrier. We are leaving now. Into the bus, please. Oh. Okay, I'm back, Trevor. So, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's that all about? Well, they suspect me now. I'm not sure if he busted me, but... I don't know. We better haul ass, man. Yeah, yeah. So, I guess it's... Angela? Yeah, it is. Angela Solano. The truth is, I really outdid myself when concealing my identity. But, once Trevor had heard my real voice and my real name, what sense did it make to keep using an alias? Okay, Group 6, please go ahead and get into the bus. <clears throat> uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Arcadia Central Station Checkpoint. Uh, as you know, after so many years of requests, Arcadia, the city of tomorrow, uh, is finally opening to the regular public. This entrance behind me is not only the first of many access points for all our visitors, it is a gate to utopia. Either by visiting its iconic landmarks or strolling through its magnificent avenues and parks, Every visitor will now be a part of American Arcadia, and our brand new security measures will guarantee the well-being of our visitors and that of all the Arcadian-born citizens. We're making sure that they can safely enjoy the posthumous work of my brother, Elijah Walton. And we're hoping they take in all that this wonderful city suspended in time has to offer. Thank you. Uh, any questions? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Walton, is it true that these new security measures are related to the incident known as the Arcadia 6 breakout? Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I, I won't be addressing any, uh, questions related to unfounded rumors, so. Uh, but I will be crystal clear about this. Nobody in his right mind, would want to leave a city like Arcadia. Y you know what? The, the press conference is over. Thank you. Okay, folks, we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was your tour guide today. Please have a safe trip oh, home. Finally. Please. You're gonna make it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? Oh, well, uh... Outside is not that different, just more modern and uglier. Much of the technology you already know from here also exists out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Adenet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow, if they weren't planning to kill me. I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember, to get out of here, the way you put it. Badge at there all is times. one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life moving. inside a gilded cage. And for the first time, you're going to be completely free. Yeah. That is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. Everything was going fairly well, all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but, of course, I didn't know about the jingle back then. Do you... do you hear that noise, by the way? It sounds like... like an air raid siren in the distance or something. It's really annoying. Huh, no, 
I don't hear anything. Thank you for visiting really? Arcadia. It's pretty loud. Don't pay any attention to it, Trevor. Just get through the checkpoint and leave. Please remember that you are required to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. Thank you for visiting Arcadia. Jesus, that please. sound, it's Keep unbearable. Next, please. Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few steps. I'm I'm not feeling too well. Trevor? Trevor, come on. Move. <sighs> <sighs> it was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had, smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor, Trevor, come on, move. I can't take a step. I just can't. Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes! I just... need a... <sighs> Security, please, come immediately. We might have a breach at Gate B in Lane 15. And then I see a six-foot-tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say... Subject 10392 Clear Text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title II, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor, violating get the, the hell out of there now. There's no use. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. I can't. Trevor, do what I say, go yo. 10392, stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors, get the subject now. I couldn't believe it. Until then, Interceptors were an urban legend. A high-tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci-fi codename. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an Interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry. Because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a hundred meter dash while feeling like complete shit. 10392! <gasps> Stop running! Angela! Angela! What? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. What it's good news. You didn't see it. Now. What? Ah! Interceptors on the tail of subject 10392. <sighs> why, do, why do these guys keep calling me a 103? It's 103 something. It's your citizen ID. But what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run! <gasps> that man, Trevor, now! What do I... Where do I go? What do I do? Back to the station! Go back to the station! Back to the station! Are you crazy? Just do what I'm telling you! Uh. Interceptors, maintain pursuit! Uh. Subject is heading back to the station. Interceptor Unit B, proceed. Shit, they're coming from the escalators! Hey! Yeah, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. Stop this nonsense and surrender! Back, back, back. Shit, they're coming from the escalators! Hey! Yeah, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. The elevator, hurry up! 
392, stop this nonsense and surrender! Back, now! Come on! Don't let Subject 10392 is escaping through the roof. Get him! Angela, Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a... Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Hey, help me with that door, Angela, would you? Talking to. Lockdown? Really? Oh, what happened? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, I'll see you in the lobby then. Yeah, I hope they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and... Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. I'm at the Spectrex no cabinet. Problem. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, Please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank Can you. Can you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's, that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him, one of us. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it because why? Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids, but American Arcadia, there is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead, but this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <clears throat> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... <sighs> I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning, you know, right? Okay, see ya! Dios, callate la boca ya! She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor. Okay, preserve my admin permissions. Preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I gonna do that? 
All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think. You gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography, a word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through a red lens, everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is, concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today, because science always finds a way. I got it. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Gordon Sabat, or Sabat, I don't know how to pronounce that. Come to the lobby exit. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. Whoa, ZW. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last to exit the building. Good, good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is and clone his ID. Fernando Salcedo. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. This guy doesn't look like the guy in the ZW picture. Nope. This guy is not my Zoltan Waldorf. This is not the ZW guy I saw in the picture. Nope. This guy is not my Zoltan Waldorf. This guy doesn't look like the guy in the ZW picture. Let me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. I'm not proud about doing this to a Walton Media coworker, but I really needed your credentials, Zazu Waluigi. Tiffany Schneider, come to the lobby exit.
How do I get to the video room? Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. Ugh! Jeez, this looks like a damn maze. And I hate mazes. Why do I hate this place? Seymour, Seymour. Very funny. Who's a wise ass? Oh, I'm. Um, I'm sorry. I uh, apologize, Mr. Seymour. Where do I go now? Oh, I hope this works. I hate squeezing into tight spaces. Rakim Sharp, come to the lobby exit. This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record on here. I need a non-digital media to encrypt my data. Any VHS Okay, this Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. So, let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet tape digital data. And the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. Yes, 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 I got it! Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything from my cell. See you at home, admin permission. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass! What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? That was close. Angela Solano, please. 
Hey, Angela. ¿Qué pasó? What took you so long? Ah, uh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those Comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> Bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. <sighs> and then I went home to have a heart attack, which took me a while since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Welcome home, Angela Solano. <sighs> At last. Now I need to convert the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions. And check on Trevor too. Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin for- Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? The jingle happened. The chick... What? What? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs, but that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? How come you guys didn't know about the jingle because it did not exist when we got out <sighs> damn it if trevor has that jingle thing in his head how are we going to get him out remember i asked you to preserve your admin permissions you did that right you are going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use rental car you mean like a swift yes Now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Whew, easier said than done, but I'll try my best. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. Okay, one second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. TCH? My high score initials. TCH, Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine, Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to... Wait, wait, are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Famous last words. My fellow citizens, please pay close attention to the man in this picture. This is 28-year-old Trevor Hills. What 
on Earth? A resident of the Point Sienna Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable. Or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake. Who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone in Arcadia. <laughs> and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. Oh my god, I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one! For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors to get that wimpy guy? Yep, that wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. Told you they were gonna call in the cavalry. So why isn't the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. Unlike us. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon, any news about hills? Yes, we got all exits gone. We're not getting out of the mall. Hey, hey! Hexagon? Elevator has stopped. Reset now. Reset the elevator, damn it! Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. Uh, uh grab those clothes, Trevor. Hey, you look just like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. Doesn't fit the description. Yeah, uh, that guy looks like Steven Spielberg. Good, good. Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh, right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Okay, plan B. Aren't we already at C? Whatever. We need to get you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? As you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? You slip through the dome's exit and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? What on earth is the dome? Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Sort of. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia Security Forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be inside this premises. Man. This building is in complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank you. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting! Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid would have been enough for me. Yeah. 
Here we are. This is the Swift car pickup area. Look at the charge status screen. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. Looks like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Good. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! What? What? Something wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. I don't know, man. All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. Angela, didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach the dome? I know, I know, I know, I know, but I need to... Let me handle this, okay? Look at this sweet ride! Shining aerodynamic lines, a masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines. I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh, fine. Let's get going. Uh, Angela? Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton, and this is American Arcadia. Whew, oh my, oh my, looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. Thanks for that, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffany'ers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, that burns! The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the boot. But look at this, 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts.
But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. Everything okay, Trevor? How's the car battery? Good, good. Still full. This is going smooth as silk. At this pace, we'll reach the dome exit in no time. Let's hope so. Mind if I tune to a little music? Not at all. And you're listening to WABC Hits, Arcadian Station with the finest music around the clock. This is DJ Zoom with the cream of the crop, only Stella, out of sight, number one hits, baby. And the music just keeps coming in this hot Friday afternoon. Ah, <sighs> much better. This is my girl, Meryl Jefferson, with her groovy hit, Don't Be a Fool. Oh, come on, Angela. What? I had nothing to do with it this time, I swear. God, what have I done to deserve this torture? The song is everywhere. Enough already. Everybody loves Merle, man. Don't be a fool as a hit. Inside and outside are... Shit, 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 shit! What? I can see five interceptor cars, and they're heading straight to the Arcadia Dome. Wait, you think they're coming after me? It's very likely. Uh, I have to think of something. Ay, bendito, now what? Yes? Hello, Angela, it's Kendra. Can I come up? Um, I'm a little tied up right now, Kendra. I... Don't worry, it won't be long. I'm coming up. Ay, pero que quiere ahora? What's happening, Angela? <sighs> Kendra's coming up to my apartment, and there's like a ton of incriminating material in here. Hey, who's Kendra? My stupid boss. She's coming up. What do I do? Get rid of any compromising material, Angela. I'll help you think from here. Wait, you showed me things. Info about uh, Gus yeah, and all that? Yeah, that's no problem. You don't have that lying around your house, do you? All right. Come on, come on, come on. Shut down already. I'll be up to my ass in trouble if Kendra sees this. What about my escape plan? Do you have it written down uh, somewhere visible? Yeah, that's no problem. These breakout pamphlets won't look good if Kendra finds them. What about my escape plan? Do you have it written down somewhere Angela! Visible? Angela? Angela, open the door. I can hear you in there, oh, Angela. Hi, Kendra. What happened? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to check some things. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Uh, okay, I guess. Suit yourself. Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered as your office. It still has your personal touch for chaos, though. Thank you, I think. You look nervous, Angela. Is everything okay? Uh, no, apart from my supervisor breaking into my apartment, uh, everything's hunky-dory. This board has been erased recently. Oh, yeah, that's why they're called dry erase boards. Because you can, you know, erase them? Hmm. Okay. Are you worried? You don't have anything to hide, do you? Oh, aren't we a little paranoid, Kendra? Well, I would certainly hope so. Your blinds are lowered. Yeah, sunset light bothers me. Nothing unusual here.
Is there anything wrong with your computer? Why is it off? We're in lockdown. Why do you want me to turn the computer on to beat my Minesweeper high score? Hmm. Angela, please come Kendra, here. What is this all about? Let's lay our cards on the table. We're friends, right? Um, we are? If you were doing anything to harm Walton Media's reputation, I would be deemed directly responsible, and you wouldn't want that. So tell me, how is it possible that you had admin permissions today? Oh, I did? Ugh, that's news to me. Uh, maybe poor Gene got it wrong. He's been under so much stress lately. But you could check the surveillance cameras if you doubt me. I didn't even go near the server room today. Huh. I have one more question, Angela. Answer it and be honest. Are you the one helping Trevor Hills escape Arcadia? No, I am not. Have a nice evening, Kendra. Door locked. Fera de mi casa. Sounds like everything went sort of okay, huh? <laughs> sort of. I owe you one, man. Wait, you owe me? Come on, Angela. No, really. Thank you, Trevor. You're a good guy. Okay, well, I am going back to my computer now. How's, uh, how's everything going on your side? Good, good. I think I'm reaching the suburb area. When you see the Adam Arena Stadium on your left, drive past it and take the next exit to the suburbs. Hey, Angela, I was wondering, how is it possible for the Arcadia Adams to play against teams from the outside? Oh, all players are NPCs, non-protagonist characters. People who live inside Arcadia but are part of the show, uh, like Vivian. Next topic, connection with Arcadia-born citizens. Now, you've been given some plot points by the story team, but engagement is critical in here, specifically with the ones in your assigned network. Ordinary lives are not interesting by themselves. We gotta make sure that things happen. That's good for the audience, for your assigned citizens, and in the end, for you too. That's what you, what we are in here for. To be their shitty bosses, their rivals, or BFFs. It all depends. And, who knows, maybe even their spouses. <laughs> it's not common, but it has happened. I mean, I consider myself as the first NPC in Arcadia. Well, not actually the first one. I'm not that old. <laughs> but the thing is, the story team would never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. So if you ever wondered why everything goes well for the absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people in the city, now you know why. Well, that explains some things. I bet that Romano, my supervisor, is one of those. Could be. I don't know. I only have access to my assigned citizen grid. But, you know, George Bernstein, your neighbor? He was in cahoots with the show from day one. Not Mr. Bernstein. I've known him since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I must have the full list of NPCs somewhere, so if you want, I can send it over. No, no, no. There's no need, really. You've revealed quite enough of Arcadia's intricate lies for me today. Hey, Angela? I'm beginning to hear that noise again. It's still distant, but... All right, all right, uh, keep driving until you can't drive anymore. This is horrible. It's hard to describe how it sounds. I, I can't. I, you have to. I, you have to do it. Uh, I'll take control now, Trevor. Don't worry. Look at that. Those things that look like comm towers. I think I saw some at the checkpoint, too. Yeah, you're definitely right. Must be transmitters or something. It's even louder than it was at the checkpoint. I can hear it even if I cover my ears. Trevor, we, uh... Okay, now we have to cross that area. Do not touch the steering wheel or the brakes, please. As if I could. It's hard for me to even blink. Oh, damn it! Oh, God! It's... 
tearing my brain apart! Hold on, hold on just a little longer, Trevor. We're almost there. We're almost there. How do you feel now? Like... I had the biggest damn magnet inside my head and someone was pulling on it. But I'm better. I, I feel better. You think you could drive now? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Good. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here once and for all. Finally. You're gonna make it. Don't say it. Don't say it, Angela. Last time you jinxed it. Yeesh, okay. But you're out of the transmitter zone, so what could go wrong now? I've been involved in high-speed pursuit for years. I'm not scared of it. I study the road layout, carefully cover all the exits, register everything in a 10-mile radius, and calculate every possibility. I can't afford myself to fail. Not while I'm on duty. 10-392! Stop the car immediately! Or face the consequences! Son of a... The interceptors are here! I knew it! Jesus, I knew it! These guys are crazy! They're gonna kill me! Really close, Trevor, just a few miles ahead! They're pushing me off the road! No, 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 no! Ah! We, we, we didn't see that crashing. Yeah, there's a lot you didn't see. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. See these wounds? Let's say I was lucky to survive a crash at 95 miles per hour. And that was only the first car crash of the weekend. Uh, uh, ow! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Uh, Angela! Where am I? Angela? Angela! Are you there? I can't hear- oh, Damn it, I lost my earpiece. I have to- I have to get out of here. Move, Trevor. Come on, move! I must be really close to the dome exit. I have to get out. Sir, target is not in the car. I repeat, target is not in the car. Search on new coordinates. Dome exits 31 to 35. This is right ahead. I'm going in the right direction.
sending a damn helicopter to catch me? Really? thing to reach the other side of this damn station.
Oh, how do people even find their way around here? Although I doubt this spot of Arcadia attracts many visitors. The dome exit must be ahead. Huh. There's a scissor lift in here. I could really use Angela's ability to control and or manipulate devices right now. On the target. Oh no! Surrender now. be the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Come on! Come on! I can almost see the exit sign! No! 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 There's no way out! No! Oh, what do I do now? There's a retractable bridge down there. If only Angela were here. Damn it! It's over, 10 don't do anything stupid. Just raise your hands and surrender. <sighs> okay, okay. I, I give up. I've been dealing with dangerous individuals for my entire career. So my measures, extreme or not, are not up for discussion. That's the way I work, period. If you are looking for a little tender, loving care... Hire a babysitter. But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Hit him. What? Hey, no! I just saw it! We got 10-392. We're bringing him to the core. We all know and enjoy Arcadia's splendid temperature thanks to its weather-controlled dome. But how does the dome get enough energy to generate this endless spring and its 43 square miles throughout the whole year? Well, that's exactly the function of the core power plant. In this station built inside the dome, 100% renewable and safe energy is extracted daily to supply the entire city with electricity, hot water, and other necessary resources. The core is the beating heart of the city of tomorrow. And to handle a beating heart, a thinking brain is required. And that is what the Hexagon is for. A high-tech security building outside the Arcadia Dome 
where every system that keeps the city functioning is carefully operated by technicians and engineers. The dome, the core, and the hexagon. The lungs, heart, and brain of Arcadia. Ten three ninety two. Oh, look. If it isn't the Arcadia Gestapo, what do you want with me now? With you? Nothing. What I need to know is the name of your cooperator on the outside. So spit it out. Who is helping you? Nobody. I just went for a short stroll, but I got lost on the path of life. Oh, you think this is funny? You think I'm afraid to use more... extreme measures with you? Chief, that's enough. That's no way to treat a person. He's not a person. He's property. But your property in any case, Miss Walton. All yours. I'll be watching you, 10392. Hey, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Jerk. Trevor, first of all, I want to apologize for everything that's happened so far. This has been nothing but a terrible misunderstanding. I completely understand your position, and I I'm deeply sorry. We should have managed things differently. Oh, you mean like when you said that I could be a threat to myself and other citizens? And you were. Look at the sorry state you're in. I was just trying to keep you from hurting yourself more. Yeah, sure. A likely story. Trevor, what do you know about Arcadia? I know that my whole life here is a lie. I know that Arcadia is nothing but a TV show, and I know that you kill people in here. Sadly, I can't argue with your first two statements, but... Trevor, nobody has been killed in here. Tell that to Gus. Hexagon, would you please show Augustus Rainey's house cam on the monitor in room 33? There he is. Gus has been living there for a couple of days now. What on earth? Hello, Gus. Everything all right? Oh, hi, Vivian. Yeah, sure. Everything is just peachy here. Trevor's here with me. Would you say hello to him, please? What? Trevor, my man. Hi, Gus. You're next in line? A TV show, man. Who would have thought, huh? Hey, Gus, Trevor is in a little bit of shock, and I still have to explain the full process to him. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, sure, sure. Bye, Vivian. Trevor! See you soon, man. But, but I, I, I saw the images. I, I saw Gus. What did you see exactly besides Gus leaving with two security guards? Come with me, please. I want to show you something. I'll be honest. AA ratings are slowly declining. It's not serious yet, but we need to reduce costs. All Arcadia-born citizens require stage technicians, supervisors, camera tracking 24-7... In short, lots of money. And unpopular citizens, like you or Gus, are just not profitable. So we just need to retire you guys from the show but not the kind of retirement you're thinking of. You see, the Arcadia Edge isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Edge is our brand new housing community at the edge of the Arcadia Dome. Gus is living there now. But of course, we needed the travel grant thing so we could remove a few citizens without everybody in Arcadia beginning to ask questions. That's where we were going to take you after giving you a nice compensation package for all the inconvenience. But no, nobody told me that. You ran away when we were going to explain everything to you. I was just... They told me I had to escape. Uh, 
course. They. Listen, Trevor, the Arcadia Dome is a major infrastructure under 24-7 surveillance, heavily guarded with multiple security measures. And only I can turn them down. So, the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a fail-safe button in my penthouse at the top of the Arcadia Spire that only I have access to. No matter what they have told you, that isn't happening, Trevor. So, I'm trapped in here. No, 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 this is not a prison. We can't keep you here against your will. But you just said that I can't get out. No, no, I said you can't escape. Of course you can get out. How am I... with those... noises? I, I can barely move when I hear those things. Oh, you mean the realignment jingle. Yes, that is one of the... security measures I mentioned. You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern to uh, provide you with an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You brainwashed me! Absolutely not! You were born with it, like any other Arcadian citizen in the last 30 years. And you've been hearing it throughout your whole life. What on earth? Anyway, long story short, we can remove the jingle from you. We'll just take you to a realignment booth and you'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. A realignment booth? But first, we need you to comply with a few things. By signing this agreement here, you refused- Wait, 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 wait. You really think that I'm going to trust you blindly after everything you've done to me? You just told me that I've been a damn Pavlov's dog my whole life, and you expect me to let you guys scramble my brains again? No way, screw that! I know this is not an easy decision, Trevor, but I have not told you a single lie. They, on the other hand, cannot say the same thing. Take your time, okay? Whenever you're ready. Look! I know you can hear me. I'm not even gonna read this piece of crap. Forget about it. I'm not doing it. You hear me? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'm not signing this. No way. Hey, is anybody there? Are you really gonna let me rot in here? You can't keep me in here forever. Specifically agrees to not discuss the show interference. I don't know how much time I spent locked up in there. Probably wasn't more than a couple of hours, but it felt like an eternity. I was physically and mentally exhausted from the escape. I had wounds all over my body, and I was still absorbing the harsh truth about my life. So everything came crashing down on me at that moment. I was determined to sign and get it over with. It's been almost two hours, and I still don't know where Trevor is. Not now. I'm so worried about Trevor. 
I've been switching through the closed circuit television and I can't find him anywhere. Shit, my phone. Number six, finally. What happened with Trevor? Where is he? They, they, they pushed him off the road. They. Turn on the TV. What are you talking about? We need to get. To Trust me, Kovacs. Turn the TV on. Is now on the run in the popular TV show American Arcadia. According <gasps> to his biography, he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Oh, thank God. Uh, who leaked this? Was it us? Of course it was us, Kovax. They wanted Trevor to be known, fine. Now everybody knows him inside and outside Arcadia. But where is he now? If he's still inside Arcadia, there must be a way to find him. Maybe, but we would need to access the hexagon. I can sneak inside. Uh, maybe I can track Trevor from there and then go to- Do not even think about it, Kovax. The Hexagon is not like any other Walton Media building. We are talking about the nerve center of Arcadia. We are talking about insane security measures. We are talking about... I'm gonna do it. With or without your help, number six. <sighs> okay, fine. But I will be with you, guiding you through the entire process. Copy? Copy that. And if something goes wrong, remember, you do not know us. You have never heard of us. Spare me the lecture. I knew what I signed up for when I joined Breakout. So, yeah, going to the Hexagon was my idea. Well, kind of. And even today, I still wonder if that was a bold move or a stupid move. Probably a bit of both, all things considered. Oh, this blizzard is getting worse by the minute. Freezing out here. Do you read me, Kovax? Uh, with a little bit of static due to my old headphones, but I can hear you. Good. Now, listen carefully. You are in front of one of the back entrances to the Hexagon. The staff here use a special secure digital card to access the place. You will find one in the back alley inside a metallic hey, box. Hey, it's uh, the Arcadia 6 sign, with all your names written on it. How did you manage to get your hands on this card? That was a combination of social engineering, months of decrypting code, and a bit of pure luck. We were saving it for a special occasion, but what better day than today? There are different levels of access here at the Hexagon, all named for geometric shapes. Your SD card grants you access to only the basic level, the triangle. You will not get too far with just that. So how am I going to find Trevor's location then? We have added some extras to your SD card. One of them is some homebrew software that can be used to reverse engineer level access devices. This level isn't high enough to get in here. I see a machine on the other side of this glass. I believe it has a rhombus symbol on it. Must be an access level device. Make sure you get there. Copy. Uh, my phone is vibrating. Remember I mentioned those extras we added to your SD card? That is a proximity sensor detector. This tool works like a... like a Geiger counter. Whenever you are close to a proximity sensor, that bar will rise. So tread lightly. And if you see that red bar rising, you would better move back.
Damn it. Do I really have to get inside that vent? Looks like it. But I can't look at my phone in here. How the hell am I gonna avoid those sensors? Try to guide yourself with the sound, Kovacs. see any cameras in here. Weird. And you will not see them. Our intel says they do not have cameras in the hexagon. We do not know the reason for this. One comes to mind. Whatever they're doing in here, Walton Media does not want it on record in any way. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, could be. a timer? Oh, I can't believe it. I gotta go back. What kind of moron puts a timer on an automatic door? Well, Kovax, every automatic door has a timer. I'm inside. Now you will have to manually transfer the permission info from the machine to your phone. Sounds easy, but how do I do that? You have to press buttons to swap the positions of the two geometric shapes. It is not that difficult. I 
doing wrong? Level upgraded. New level, Rom. Vivian Walton surprised everyone a few hours ago with this live statement following the leak of images of one of its citizens fleeing the show. Oh, uh, I have to admit, I'm enjoying doing my bit to wipe that creepy smile off her face. In light of the dissemination of the unauthorized images of the citizen of Arcadia, Trevor Hills, Walton Media feels compelled to issue this statement. We categorically deny all information that has been made public about the circumstances surrounding Trevor Hill's so-called escape. Such information, which is clearly intended to damage Walton Media's good reputation, lacks the slightest hint of veracity. Walton Media and the American Arcadia team have taken every measure to ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. Tomorrow at 8 p.m., there will be an official live appearance clarifying everything that happened regarding the behavior of our citizen. This appearance will include the testimony of Trevor Hills himself. Thank you. Wait, Trevor Hills himself? W what is she planning, to wipe his brain clean? You can expect anything from Vivian. I detest her, but I have to admit that wretched woman is shrewd and cunning like no other. Hold on a second. Number six? What's happening? Damn it, guys, they're down here. We need to go, now! Kovacs, they found us. What? Who? All the media's goons, of course. They must be tracking us somehow. Everybody gear up, because we are out in five! Listen, we have to go now. I will get in touch with you again as soon as we reach a safe spot. Okay, okay. Kovacs, find Trevor and get him out. Guys, make sure we leave no trail behind us. From now on, you are on your own. We are counting on you. Stay safe, number six. And good luck. Good luck to you too, Kovacs. Can't do it. I'll be damned. I'm on my own. I'm literally scared shitless. Okay, not literally. Access denied. inside the Walton Media Illuminati meeting. And look who's here. Hello, my fellow American Arcadia teammates. It is so good to see all of you here. Hello, Hi, Vivian. Hello, Vivian. First of all, we know that whatever happens tomorrow is going to be crucial to the future of Walton Media and American Arcadia. So, my thanks and appreciation to every single one of you for your commitment. No, thank you, Vivian. Pathetic. You're too kind, Kendra. I don't deserve you. On a different note, I've talked with Trevor and I'm convinced he'll come to his senses. Sooner than later, I hope. And once he signs, we'll bring him to a realignment booth and everything will be realignment ready. Realignment booth? Until then, let's stay in high spirits with a positive attitude and everything will go smoothly. Am I right or am I right? Of course, oh, baby! Yeah. See you tomorrow then. And remember, Damn teamwork it. makes the dream Number work. Number six was right. I don't know what a realignment booth is, but it reeks of nice. brainwashing. She's the best. Ugh. 
Vivian really is the evil bitch supreme. I better hurry and find that access machine thingy before Trevor signs anything. The access level device is right there. Good. Hey, this device works differently, so what do I need to do now? Level upgraded. New level, Pentagon. Shit, interceptors. I'm telling you, he might look like he's 80, but this guy runs as if his life depended on it. Well, that kind of makes sense. All night long, playing hide and seek in the wet. Kovacs? Kovacs, do you copy? Number six, what happened? Did you make it to the safe house? Take the next exit right, number four. Not yet, we're still on the road, but I think we lost them. For now. Any news from Trevor? Yeah. But not good news. You're right. About everything. We have to hurry. We must anticipate and maybe... Maybe carry out a really bold move. What do you mean by that? There is no time now. Focus on entering the Arcadia Control Grid, Kovacs. Man, you were right again. That hall is plagued with infrared beams. Hmm, not good. Do you see a way to shut them down? Uh, there is a device in here. Let me try. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The device to shut the beams down is an hexagon level? What do I do? We cannot wait anymore, Kovacs. Memorize the position of the beams and try to... Reenact the laser scene from Ocean's 12. You were gonna say that, right? Uh, sort of. But without the pop culture reference. I made it. Right. You are now in the Arcadia control grid. Every critical system of the city runs through these servers. I would gladly shut this whole room off if I knew how to. Me too. 
but since we do not know how to do that, we should use it to our advantage and find Trevor. No! I can't believe this machine is also a hexagon level! Oh, thank God. There's one of those access level devices in here. A really simple wiring, that's all. I only have to keep track of the yellow cable. I'll take a picture of it just in case. How does this thing work now? Why do they make this process so damn complex? And why does this machine provide access to all levels? I only need hexagon. Level upgraded. New level. Hexagon. Okay. Arcadia control grid. Help me find my good friend, Trevor Clarence Hills. A.K.A. Arcadia's public enemy number one. A.K.A. 10392. 372 cameras? Really? <sighs> Looks like this is gonna take a while, number six. Do you have time now to explain that really bold move you were talking about? Yes. Once you locate Trevor, get him to... You know where old Arcadia is, right? The abandoned prototype town? Why do you want me to bring Trevor there? Because that is where Arpad Kobach's Visiorama workshop is. And since we know they stole his technology for the jingle, we need to use it to get it out of Trevor's head. <laughs> what? Removing the jingle? Are you crazy? Th th that plan is like a hundred to one shot, to put it mildly. We barely know anything about the jingle. That is why you need to get inside realignment and find as much information as you can. But only after you bring... Tr Ugh, number four, I told you to slow down, damn it. S stop the car and act casual when the cop comes. Kovex, please, trust me. Bring Trevor to old Arcadia. We're counting on you. There he is! Ugh, finally. No, 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 Trevor, don't do it! Don't sign that! Comms were locked, so the only way I found to communicate with him was to play an audio file from my phone. And guess what song was the first one in my recently played files? <laughs> Andrew? Kovacs? Is that you? Okay, and how do I get a brand new start? Got it. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to keep doing this using only verses of that stupid song. The Arcadia Core. The beating heart of the city of tomorrow. First time I've ever heard of this place. Back to my penthouse now, Chief. Make sure everything is ready for tomorrow. Got it? I will see to it personally, Miss Walton. Just give Trevor some time. He'll come to reason. 
I do not have much faith in that, but we'll see. Oh, and Chief, you don't need to overdo can hear me. This place is full of drones. You better do something. Oh! Looks like the drones are on our side now. Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop beeping, damn it! the subject. Hold it right there. D drop your guns. I'm warning you. These drones now do my bidding. So you, you, you better leave or, or I won't be responsible for the harm these little killing machines might cause you. Subject 103392. 
You're giving me way too much trouble for a pathetic wimp. I still wonder how you managed to get the required rank to control and manipulate Arcadia's automated personnel. But it doesn't matter anymore. I'll escort you back to your cell. As soon as I have you rendered unconscious. Kovacs, if you can hear me, please do something! Kovacs? Who is Kovacs? So that was Miss Solano's doing. Yes, but... She obviously knew it wasn't that far to the ground. That's why she opened the hatch. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I, I have I had everything under control. But he said, Kovacs, do something, and I did the first thing that came into my mind. Don't move! Don't move or I'll shoot you, I swear to God! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts, 10392. Damn it! Just leave me alone! Hexagon! 10392 is on the run again! All systems on high level alert! Hexagon! Hexagon! Do you copy? Damn it! Wretch. So you can brainwash me? No thanks! You won't make it to the other side! 10392! There is no escape! You know what? Even my grandpa could jump that! What? Halfway through my jump, I suddenly realized how rickety the ladder was, but it was too late to do anything about it. Ah! No, no, no! I fell about nine feet, and I landed in a puddle of some sort of thick liquid. It smelled awful, but helped cushion the blow. You think you made it, 10392? I don't care. I'll get you again! You won't get out of Arcadia! You hear me? <laughs> I won't allow it! Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Keep barking, you idiot! What... what do I do now? Where do I go? What on earth? Welcome to Arcadia, or at least welcome to the land where the city of tomorrow is being built. The Arcadia project is moving forward spectacularly fast, and we hope to have it finished for summer of 1961. Let's take a quick view of some of the amazing perks that Arcadia has to offer. First of all, our suburbs. Modern housing with the latest technology included, service droids, voice-operated devices, and everything a modern American family needs. 
And with our road system that will communicate easily with the downtown area, you won't have to worry about traffic anymore. Get to work either by monorail or an electric car. And what about leisure? If you want to enjoy a good movie, there is a spectacular drive-in theater with an immersive new system called Viziorama. But that's not all. We have a special surprise for our audience, and here is our good friend Arpad Kovacs to explain it to us. Hello, Mr. Walton. Hello, kids. I am here to tell you we are building a new TV studio right here in Arcadia. So from now on, I will be recording Architects of Tomorrow from my workshop right here. Isn't that amazing? So, Arcadia already has its first neighbor. What are you waiting for? Call and make your reservation so you can be one of the lucky ones to be selected. Ask for housing in Arcadia now and be welcome to... A wonderful tomorrow to live in. Arcadia? What? What is this? Angela? Hey! I, I, I'm, I'm here, do you hear me? Oh, God, finally! It's so good to hear your voice! Where am I? Is this the first prototype of Arcadia? Yeah, this was what Walton and Kovacs had in mind. But then Don and the board of directors took over, and... They turned Elijah's dream into this American nightmare, where being unpopular is punished with death. I don't know where you got that info, but nobody has been killed in here. What are you talking about? Gus is not dead. Vivian showed him to me. But, but I saw him. I... Well, what exactly did you see? Besides Gus leaving with two security guards. I, I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Okay, let's just focus on getting you out of here. I... Don't think there is a way out of here, Angela. I'm afraid I'm trapped in here. No, 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 no. Listen to me. We have a new plan. Sit down, Trevor, please. All right, here goes. Uh, that sound that renders you motionless. Well, we think that there might be a way to uh, to remove that thing from your brain. Wait, remove? You mean... you mean like... brainwashing me? No! No, 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 no! Not at all! Well, it sounds pretty similar to what Vivian wanted to do with me, with that realignment thing? I know, I know, but we know what we're doing. Trust me! Yeah, no offense, Angela, but considering how things went last time, it's not easy for me to just blindly trust in your plans. And anyway, even if you magically reprogram me without leaving me brain damaged, I've already crossed the jingle area before, and it didn't work out. How am I gonna get out of the dome anyway? Maybe I can help with that. Wait, who is this? Number six? Are you okay? Yes, Kovacs. I passed in a couple of minutes ago and heard your conversation. Sorry for the indiscretion, but I had to interrupt. My name is Number Six. I am the leader of Breakout, the activist group Kovacs works for. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, 
Uh, there's an abandoned car there. It looks rusty now, though. Most of the horses of the snake she had to leave her beloved car there. Do you see a billboard with writing on it? Arcadia is a gilded cage, and we know it. Sid wanted to leave a farewell message. It is his trademark. but they have two of those jingle emitters on each side. <laughs> that makes sense. They were not there when we got out. Look, Trevor. Maybe some of our intel is wrong. Maybe they're not killing people in there. There is something you and I know for sure to be true. As long as you are inside Arcadia, you will always be a prisoner. From one fugitive of Arcadia to another. Do what you need to do. Say goodbye and leave. Uh, can I at least have some time to think about it? So, take your time. Whenever you are ready. Angela? You still there? Hey, Trevor. Yeah, I'm here. I think this is the Architects of Tomorrow TV set. Yeah. Last two Architects seasons were recorded in this studio inside Old Arcadia. But nothing was the same after Walt and Stone. Not even Architects. Wait, that's... That's the piano Kovacs always played at the end of every episode. Oh, really? It's still there? It was my favorite part. That's what got me into music. You mind if I... No, no, go ahead. I still have to give it a name. Wait, you wrote this? It, it's yours? Yeah, it's mine. I didn't know you were so talented, Trevor. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional musician? No. I like to keep that to myself. You know, maybe my life wasn't good American Arcadia material, but it was quiet and peaceful. I know I'm not the most interesting guy on the planet, but I've never hurt anyone. And I don't deserve all the crap that I'm going through. I know, Trevor. And for what it's worth, I have to say that you may not be the most interesting guy on the planet, but you 
most interesting guy on the planet. But you're a good person. And I like you. And I'm sure a quiet and peaceful life is waiting for you out there. Maybe you'll have to chuck that grandpa get up and throw on something a little bit more up to date. But other than that, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do this. We will be extremely careful. I swear it. Yeah, 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 sure. Just do it before I change my mind. At that moment, I realized how fond I had grown of that old fuddy-duddy mustache-wearing average show. I wasn't doing this because of the Walton Media breakout war anymore. I just wanted to get my friend out of that city once and for all. That was really moving, Kovacs. Thank you. It was critical to convince such a valuable asset like Trevor to- Uh, I haven't said anything to convince him. I just said what I feel. And please, don't call him an asset. Trevor's not an asset, okay? I understand. I apologize. It's all right. What do we do now? You must get inside the realignment area and find any relevant information that allows us to comprehend how the jingle works. I really hope your plan works, number six. Still not 100% convinced. Remember, we are at this point thanks to your courage and boldness. You got us to the hexagon. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> hey, what is this? The four uh, steps of the to real ensure jingle? that our citizens Jesus. never leave. We... This shit is Orwellian and disgusting. Donald Walton was a really sick man. Looks like every brand in the world has a spot here. What do you mean? Well, their logos are everywhere. Car brands, They must hire the worst of the worst to work here. I mean, how could you live with yourself? There are four kinds of effects. Well, you work at American Arcadia. Ooh, okay, that was a low blow number six. Hmm. What do we have here? This machine seems to require a subject ID code to work. Kovac, set it to Trevor's. 10392. Hmm. There are some branded logos in this machine. And they seem to be related to the jingle somehow. Are those... brainwaves? So this is what Trevor experiences every time he hears the jingle? Oh my god. That's how they tailor the preferences of Arcadia citizens and prepare everything that happens around them. Setting aside how ethically reprehensible this might be, this machine will tell us how Trevor's brain reacts to external stimuli. We should use it to our advantage, Kovacs. Yeah, there's a QR reader in this machine, so I better find something to feed it. An instrument manufacturer. I guess this might represent music. An Adenet dating service. Most citizens end up being matched with NPCs who provide them with exciting and generally completely fake love stories. Rush Motors, the guys who manufacture the perfect work of engineering, according to Trevor. Vivian's Disco Club, 
No matter where I go, I keep seeing her. Ah, uh, this is that awful line of workout videos and fitness meals. I think they sponsor Steve Just. According to this, Trevor feels like a romantic relationship might turn his world upside down. He might not have any control of his life, and this scares him. Yep, that sounds like him. This machine works, no doubt about it. A healthier life would make Trevor less scared of dying, but also more unhappy and less free. Playing piano strengthens Trevor's mastery and his sense of freedom. Social events really stress Trevor out, and they seem to turn his mood upside down. Driving makes Trevor feel in control, but also in need of some freedom. Only aspiration must be routine. Don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interesting. Celebrities, athletes, musicians, but always local celebrities, local athletes, and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity, Looks like this booth can be programmed to generate something entirely different. A, a customized jingle, if you will. Yes, yes, yes! Looks like I got it, number six, I got it! Now, what do we do next? The drive-in theater must be the place. And while he's looking at the adjustment screen through his visioroma goggles, we send the anti-jingle through the audio system and BAM! Trevor is free of the jingle! Damn it! What is happening? Attention all security personnel. Come immediately to realignment. There has been a security breach in the hexagon. Must attract your callbacks. You better get out of there now. Shit, shit, shit! So, in that moment, I realized that I had to escape from a top-notch security building if I didn't want to spend my life in jail. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. I was worried sick about Trevor, but number six was there with him, so what could go wrong? Trevor, this is number six. I will be here to help you through the whole deprogramming process. What? Why? Where's Angela? Kovacs had to go, but everything will be okay, I promise. Meanwhile, I will be in charge of the sole operation. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Move forward, please. Hey. This is Arpad Kovac's workshop. That is correct. Look around for some sort of headset. Those would be Visiorama goggles. I can see them here. Put them on, please. Oh boy, that's 
Elijah Walton's car. The Walton mobile. Yes. Get in the car and drive straight ahead. Once you've arrived, I will take care of the rest. Okay, great. You know, I gotta admit, this town does have a special kind of charm. It means a lot to me. It was the last thing I saw from Arcadia before getting out. Okay, I'm here. Shall we do this, Trevor? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Cross your fingers, Trevor. We are counting on you. Should I be feeling any different? I don't know. Everything is still the same. <sighs> I don't think this worked at all, number six. You want me to stay in here? This is a waste of time. Ah, oh, crap. So, what do we do now? You guys have a plan Z? Number six? Are you there? What on earth? This is so weird. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Distort your routine. Who said that? Trevor Hills, welcome to American Arcadia, Stage 10B, Sector 9. Your life has been broadcast live for 28 years, 6 months, and 2 days, but nobody gives two shits about it. Thank you. Hello, Clark. Hi, Trevor. Lucille. Hi. Hello, Mannequin. Hello. Hello, empty chair. Trevor, my man. How's your day? Gus, you're not dead. Of course I'm not. I'm living on the edge now. Who'd have thought, huh? By the way, you're going to the Spire party tonight? No, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to do something interesting for the audience? <laughs> Once in a Send while? Send to Ada and validate it. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Strengthen your control. I'm inside a video game? Space Cadet, are you ready to infiltrate the secret Spectrex fortress? No, I'm not into video games anymore. We need you to defeat the evil Spectrex army once and for all. Move forward! Admiral! Where do I go? There's no way to... Space Cadet, execute... Well done, Space Cadet. You'll rise in the ranks in no time.
Press the button to destroy the Spectrex Fortress once and for all. Well done. Space Cadet TCH, the Stellar Defense is proud of you. Thank you for playing. Insert coin. Ooh. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Suppress your fear. you want to share? You got anything to show us? We're bored. I want to know more about you. Tell me about you. How do you feel about everything? I don't really want to know, but I need entertainment. Open up to us. We're eager to consume your life. Hey, you! You're blocking my way! Move, damn it! You move, jerk! Go down, now! Shut up! I have to go up, and I have to go down, you idiot! Move! You're an idiot! <sighs> hey, Trevor! Keep going, man! The exit's right there! Uh, it's, uh, taking quite a long time. How long have I been walking this way? Did the other Trevor send you? The exit's a little bit further, man! Just a few more steps and you're out, Trevor! <laughs> Did the other Trevor send you here, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor sent me here, Trevor. There must be a way out, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, but which way? No, 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 no. It's the other way around, Trevor. Fee-fi-fo-fum. 
I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Shiver with fear, Shivert is near. You won't make it out of here. Shiver with fear, Shivert is near. You won't make it out of here. Your rhymes suck. Intentional or unintentional? You know I'll be watching you, Subject 10392. Shavert will catch you no matter what. You won't escape. You don't have the guts. You won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? I won't allow it! That doesn't even rhyme, you idiot! My fellow citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! Which isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Trevor Hills! Any fans of Trevor Hills here? Of course not, because he has a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. He might find it hard to believe right now, but we really care about his well-being. Nah, actually we don't. So please, when you finish this obstacle course, there's an agreement I need you to sign. Then we'll brainwash you and let you go. Or maybe not. Who knows? That's the way we handle Arcadia's intricate lies. Oh look, it's Poinciana Drive 1465, the most uninteresting house in Arcadia. Would you please leave me alone? Ooh, looks like he found out he's <gasps> inside a TV show. What is Average Joe gonna do now? And most important, who cares? Shut up! You're a horrible person! <laughs> horrible, but interesting. Unlike you. Trevor, the ratings are plummeting, and it's all your fault. <sighs> now Trevor is inside the Grand Hotel Cygnus, although he obviously can't afford it. I live in Arcadia. Why would I want to stay at a hotel? But you can't afford it anyway, can you? And another plan that fails. Good job. What is that now? Plan E? Plan F? You're gonna run out of letters at this rate. This place again. Definitely on a clip show. Trevor, this is not good American Arcadia material! <sighs> Where are you going, Trevor? <sighs> Why are you still trying when you know there is no way to escape from Arcadia? Mind your own damn business! Who do you think you are? Some sort of action hero? You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. It provides an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. 
comfort, you were born with it just like any other Arcadian citizen. So the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a failsafe button. A failsafe button. A failsafe button. You'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. Done, Trevor. Okay, who is this? I am Angela Guardiana. Wow, a guardian angel. Like Clarence, and it's a wonderful life. Now your aspiration must be freedom. Freedom like no other. In a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M, the most perfect work of engineering ever designed, and your favorite car. Woohoo! I'm on a rainbow road! Where are you guiding me, Angela Guardiana? You are going to escape from Arcadia. Then how am I going to do that? With the help of Kovacs, of course. Look at you, Kovacs! You're huge, pal! Yeah! Thanks, Thanks to my exquisite cabbage, cabbage breakfast. breakfast. That, that was, was uh, quite a trip, trip huh, Trevor? Trevor? Was? Are you sure the jingle won't affect me now? Of, of course! course. You're 100% jingle free. See, Trevor? Science always finds a way. Gee, this is awesome. Finally, man, you're, you're gonna, gonna make it. No, 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 Kovacs, don't say that. You'll jinx it again. Oh, no, I jinxed it. Oh, no, not again, man. Uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling so well. I'm glitching. Oh, no, I'm glitching. Trevor, what are you doing in here? This is the Limelight! The best disco club on the 15th floor of the Arcadia Spire. Oh, by yours truly, Vivian Walton. I don't want to be here. I'm not really into clubbing. Then leave. Now. Yeah, I would, but I can't stop dancing. I gotta admit, this rhythm is super groovy. Keep your hands off my CCTV system. You don't have the required rank to control and or manipulate Artadia's devices. I'm just trying to get out of here. Leave me alone. Well, well, if there's no jingle limiters. Knock it off, you pathetic, boring idiot! I'm going up? Yeah! This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today! I hate you. I hate you! The feeling is mutual. You are a mediocre, dull, uninteresting person. And you are ruining everything! You're damn right! I'm gonna ruin this city for good! You don't have the guts, Trevor. This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today! No, 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 no! Don't press it, Trevor, please! No! 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 I'm melting! I'm melting! Uh, 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 Jesus, my head. Number six, is that you? Yes, it is me. How do you feel now, Trevor? Well, I 
like I took the worst 30 minute nap of my life. Really? But I assume you are finally free of the jingle. Now, get out of the car and head towards... And what about, what about the others? What do you mean, the others? The other 23,413 Arcadian-born citizens. What about them? We will come back for them, but for now we must get you out. Sorry, but I'm not leaving. Not before I press that fail-safe button and take the Arcadia Dome down. Please thank Angela for everything. I waited for hours, and there was no news from Trevor or Number Six. Nothing. I was thinking that our plan had gone down the drain for the fourth or fifth time. Worst activist group ever. But then, something happened. Something that nobody had taken into account that I was the only one following Trevor's track camera. What the f- You gotta be shitting me! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! It is indisputable that times are changing, and everything seems to be brand new these days. Brand new audiences with brand new interests that interact and communicate using brand new devices. At Walton Media, we believe American Arcadia needs to keep evolving and adapting. Many years ago, we expanded from free-to-air TV to a cable network, when the internet arrived, we grew from a television channel to a website. And now, smartphones are here. A new challenge. So, I present you the brand new American Arcadia Live app. Now you'll just be a click away from enjoying all the best American Arcadia content in your phone. You don't need to tune your TV or log into your computer anymore to enjoy a popular character crucial moment or that special event you've been waiting for for months. And don't worry about missing a thing. Because when anything interesting happens to your favorite characters, the AA Live app will notify you instantly. With its brand new real-time stream, you can vote live. You can comment live. You can be part of American Arcadia live. We are excited to bring all of the American Arcadia content to every user everywhere in the world at any time. Okay, you guys want to know a release date? Well, AA Live is available to download right now, and it's completely free! I've always tried to be a model citizen. I'm a nice and polite person. I greet my neighbors. I'm a committed professional. I've never refused to work overtime when I've been asked to, not once. I pay my taxes religiously, even when they are quite high. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've never hurt a fly. Never, ever committed a crime. Not even a minor traffic violation. I have never even littered, ever. And you have screwed up my life for good, you miserable pricks! You're gonna pay for this, Arcadia! Oh no. He's really going to the Spire. There's something really weird happening here. And then, I started to connect the dots. How is it possible that until then I was Trevor's only follower? And suddenly, now, he had more than a million viewers. There was only one person, besides me, who knew where Trevor was. Number six knew a lot of things about me, but what did I know of him? 
something didn't add up. So I decided to track him. Where are you now, you always resolute, no contractions, lying piece of shit? Let's find out. What? He's in the state! Number six is in the city too? This... this is the area. He's... Jesus! No, 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 no. Number six is inside Arcadia? God, I'm such an idiot! I have to get inside Arcadia, and quick! But I need a special ride to bypass all access controls. And I know where they come from. Trevor, I'm coming. Stay safe, and... Hi, Dios mío! 10392, stop the car! Surrender now, or we'll be forced to use extreme measures. Extreme measures? You want to run me off the road again? Huh? Let's see who pushes who now, you bastards! Take this! Are you crazy? You're gonna get us killed! Oh, oh! Now I'm crazy? Let's see how crazy oh, no, I'm no, no, gonna no. get! Is that crazy enough for you? Huh? Soar higher than ever before? Soar higher than ever before? Yeah, I'll soar higher than ever before! And that was my second crash of the weekend. But this one was broadcast publicly. Oh, it was, yeah. At least this time I crashed on purpose. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Ah! Ah! I'm still here! It ends today! Arcadia ends today! Ten three ninety two, hold it! Where are you going? You know where I'm going! Catch me if you can! Hold it right there, subject! Whoa. Time to go jogging, idiots! Subject is running through the spire basement. Hey! How's your buddy with the broken leg doing? Send him my regards! What did you just say, you asshole? Please remember to adhere to official interceptor terminology. Just shut up! This is personal now! Oh! Now it's personal? Well, good! Spotted at the Spire Japanese Garden. There he is! Get that moron! Come on! What are the time, you cowards? Hey! He's running through the hallway fountain! You just see, prepare for frontal interception! Frontal my ass! 10392 is claiming that. Uh, what is he doing? This guy's a lunatic! What? You afraid of heights? <laughs> he is. I'll try to. Uh, this is insane! All units, get him before he gets inside the elevator! Go, go, go! Good evening. Uh, hello. Uh, didn't we meet at the Cygnus yesterday? Oh, yeah, you're right. How is everything? Uh, good, good. You're going to the restaurant, too? No, I'm going to the top of the Arcadia Spire to destroy the city. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I just got a little bit tired of the good old 70s. <laughs> but hey, you two enjoy your dinner. Have a good night. Bye. Excuse me, sir, do you have a reservation? No! I do not! 
What's gotten into him? Oh, excuse me. Earl Jefferson's. Oh, I hate that song. I hate it. There it is. Subject. Stop. No. I will not. Surrender now and stop running. This is crazy. All units are blocking the exits. There's no escape. Hear that 10392? There's no light in my grandpa pocket! <gasps> Surrender now and stop running! This is crazy! All units are blocking the exits! There's no escape! Hear that 10392? There's no Not even my grandpa can jump that! Yeah. What the what? I'm live? On TV? Really? Is everyone watching me now? Listen to me for one second. American Arcadia audience, this is not right. Your sole source of entertainment can't be other people's lives. Their lives belong to them. Our I lives wish belong to- Run free. Oh, you Power miserable and style and balance. Don't you cut A to commercial- work of engineering. Classic perfect sunlight work of chrome, engineering. You stole my line? Ah. Wow, uh, Trevor is wreaking total havoc. If I wasn't so worried about him, I have to admit I'd be enjoying this a lot. Gotta focus. I need the keys to any of these cars so I can bypass security and make it to the Spire before Trevor. Miss Solano, what are you doing in here? Stay, stay away from me. Stay away or... It's over, Miss Solano. Do not come close. What does the failsafe button do? Drop the gun, Miss Solano. Tell me! Tell me or I'll... I'll shoot you! I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. And you don't have the guts. <laughs> You were supposed to shoot me, you crazy bitch! Oh, it hurts! Oh. Hey, what the... What What happened to your Darth Vader voice, you freaking weirdo? Oh, what? Wait, I, I... Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, okay, I, I'm Terry Robinson! I'm just an actor! What the fuck? But if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Okay... Cut. <laughs> How is that? I, I can do it in a different style if you like. Uh, more like T-1000, you know? <laughs> Cold as ice. Uh, uh, maybe a, a, a Tommy Lee Jones and the Fugitive vibe. I, I can do whatever you need. Uh, yeah. We'll get in touch with you in any case, Mr. Robinson. Uh, does that mean that I got the part, or, uh... Um, we still have to make a decision, Mr. Robinson. Please return the jacket to the wardrobe department when you leave. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm ready whenever you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man! 
I never should have taken this job! <laughs> Listen to me. I still have two more shots in this thing, so you better start spilling the beans or I'll fry your balls. No! No, 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 take the pen drive! Everything is there! What? Jesus, how many floors have I climbed? This is it. Floor 140. This is where Vivian's penthouse is. I should be tired, but I'm bursting with energy. Hey, 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 calm down, man. Calm down. Get out of my way. Take it easy, buddy. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I said, out of my way. Do you know who I am? I'm Steve Just. You're in my... Ugh. What the... Jesus. Oh. I told you Whoa. to get out of my way. Oh, and by the way, Arcadia is a TV show. So say hello to your audience, you spandex-wearing idiot. Damn right I'm going to Vivian's penthouse! Vivian! Let me in! It'll only be a second! I'll press the failsafe button, and then I'll leave! What the... Oh, this city never ceases to disappoint me. More of these emitters. Funny, I can hear the jingle, but it sounds kind of different. Now it's just annoying, but it's kind of pushing me out instead of keeping me in. Wait, where am I? I'm out of the dome now? It's... snowing. Oh my god, he punched Steve just. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is serious. Good to see you, sir. Thank God for tinted windows. 10392 is inside, sir. We got all our units after him. Thanks for the info, assholes. Oh, may the Walton Mobile rest in peace. Well, at least I know I'm on the right track. I'm in a little bit of a hurry right now, so... It was you all along, right? Admit it. You have been helping Trevor Hills escape. You leaked those images to the press. Have you seen the damage you've done? Admit it. Admit it now! Kendra, admit what? What are you talking about? You know what? It's over. You are fired, Angela! <sighs> you know what, Kendra? I would gladly take my severance package and leave this shithole you call a company, but that would prevent me from suing Walton Media. <laughs> oh boy, I guarantee you I am suing all your asses, so I quit. What? And now that I don't work for you, here's something that I've wanted to tell you for a long time. You are a despotic, egotistic, and miserable human being, and the worst boss I have ever had! Oh, you better take that back immediately, or I'll... Or, 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 or what? I no longer work for Walt Media. So what are you gonna do with me now, huh? You pathetic corporate lackey? 
How dare you! I am going to... Vete pal carajo! God, that felt great! Okay, 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 let's focus. Trevor, where are you now? Can't hear me. Quick, quick, quick. I have to get there with this pen drive. Let's show the truth to everybody. Oh, now what are you gonna do? You wanna shoot me? You wanna kill me here, live? Just try it! I'm almost there. Made it, Kovacs! Top of the spire! <sighs> the failsafe button. Finally. Viewers of American Arcadia, my name is Trevor Hills. I'm a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. And I'm here to tell you to enjoy these last minutes because your favorite show is getting canceled today. Wh now what? Trevor, you are live in front of the American Arcadia audience, and you are the first citizen to escape from Arcadia, a thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and escape to the outside world. Each week, a new citizen will find out the truth. And Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager from the Poinciana Drive District, is our first fugitive. Now, let's see a recap of Trevor's run. This is Trevor Hills. Trevor lived a quiet and peaceful life in Arcadia. Little did he know that his world was about to be turned upside down very soon and very fast. It all began when his co-worker Gus Rainey won the Edge Travel Grant. Nothing out of the ordinary. But just a few days after Gus disappeared, some very strange things. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is this? This is Trevor Hills. No, no, no. It's Angela. She's edited the teaser trailer During video. During his two-day run, Cut Trevor it. has been the Cut protagonist of yet another example of how Walton Media feeds a degrading spectrum. That was a major screw-up. Who was in charge of all of this? And who thought it was a good idea to give that guy all the information? He's just a damn actor, for God's sake. Hold on a second, Trevor. I 
don't know. Let me talk with him. I said I'll talk with him, okay? We'll find a way. Jesus, I'm surrounded by idiots. What the hell was all that? I told you. The only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing the failsafe button. So, here we are. This is Escape from Arcadia. The thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and get to the outside world. Congratulations. You are the first official Arcadia fugitive. Well, you won't be so happy when we bring everything you've done to light. Breakout knows everything! I would not put much faith in Breakout doing anything, but best of luck with that, Trevor. We are counting on you. But wait, well, what is this? Another one of the show's intricate lies? Not at all. Breakout, number six, they're not lies. Just, um, you know, controlled dissidents. Can't say the same about Vivian Walton, though. My real name is Emily Garland. I was one of the six people who escaped Arcadia many years ago. In fact, if you look at some of the leaked pictures, you might even see my face. When we got out, we found a breakout. We tried to fight against Walton Media, and do you know what happened? After living a few years in the outside world, I begged them to let me back inside. And since Don Walton had died, and the company needed a new face to reconnect with the audience, Elijah Walton's lost granddaughter popped up out of nowhere, and they got a popular TV host for American Arcadia for the same price. You sellout! You did this for money? Even when you had been a, a prisoner in here? Hey, it wasn't just me. The six of us reached an agreement, an amount both sides considered acceptable. And about being a prisoner, well... Let's just say that's how I knew the most interesting thing that ever happened in Arcadia was our escape. And by the looks of it, I wasn't wrong. You should see the audience ratings. Woo! Through the roof! My god, how... How could... How could you have done all this? Trevor, I don't think you have the full picture. Has Angela told you about how life is out there? Gun violence, addictions, poverty, political corruption, healthcare costs? God. I thought I was locked in a cage, but when I got out, I realized I'd been living in Eden. Well, I don't care. I want to live a, a real life. I want to get out. Do you understand that? I want to get out! Out of where? Look around you. When have you seen snow in Arcadia? You are already out. Oh. And best of luck, because it's 2023 out there and you're almost, what, 30? You don't have any employable skills, and you know nothing about the real world. So that's it, Trevor. You're free to leave. Bye bye Don't let the door hit ya. Or... Or what? Or we reach an agreement. An amount both parts consider acceptable. Enough for you to start a new life wherever you want. Just all I ask is that you talk to the American Arcadia audience. Say your life was never really at risk. That's a lie. You've tortured me. You've brainwashed me. You almost killed I could have died! Don't be so dramatic. Everything was under control, except for a few minor things. And technically, those were Angela's actions, not ours. You were the one guiding Angela! Jesus. What kind of a monster are you? Listen, I know things would be easier if I were some sort of a soap opera villain that you could blame everything on. But I'm not the villain. Not me, not Walton Media, or that pathetic B-movie actor that Angela tased. No. It's them, Trevor. The audience. They're the villains. They didn't give a shit about your life until you started having a really miserable time. And look at it now, Trevor. You are the most popular person in Arcadia, by far. And what? You need the most popular person in Arcadia to fix your screw-up? <laughs> Trevor, honestly, one sorry-ass edited video isn't gonna prevent Escape from Arcadia from becoming a hit. The audience is quick to forget, especially ours. Having said that, we have invested considerable time and money in this publicity stunt, and we don't want the show to start off on the wrong foot. So. My advice from one Arcadia fugitive to another? 
take the big pile of money, say thank you, and leave. Think about it. Yeah, I think we're good. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I believe he's ready to talk. Hello, we're back, live from the top of the Arcadia Spire. As promised, Trevor Hills, our first Arcadia fugitive, has something to clarify about his exciting run. Trevor, why did you do what you did in that moment? Oh, that. Yeah. Well, Vivian made a poor choice of words. Do the right thing here, son. Don't be a fool. Leave me the fuck alone! be a repercussion when we release a documentary I, I don't have much faith in people opening their eyes who knows we will see buddy did you hear vivian's last statement you think they're really gonna sue no i doubt they want to go to court again they definitely know that everything in our documentary is the truth so this is a stalemate yeah i guess it is you know what still amazes me how could Vivian experience the same shit that you did and still sell her soul? Well, she didn't have you. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I knew that deep down you're nothing but a big sweet teddy bear. I never said I'm not affectionate. It just takes a little while for me to let people in. Hey, stop picking on me, okay? That thing you wanted to see is starting. Oh, talking about selling his soul. My name is Steve Just. I was the most popular person in Wow, Steve just has been Trevorfied. Recently, I found out the truth. You didn't find out anything, you jackass. I told you. After you punched him in the face, which I have to admit was super hilarious. I'm, I'm not exactly proud of that. My life had been nothing but a lie. Now, under the alias Kovax, I help others. Kovax? To... Oh, come on. They even stole that from us. They just come up with something original, you assholes. Escape from Arcadia. Sundays at 8 p.m. What a crock of shit! Enough already. Turn it off, Ange. 